Today we are talking about romance languages. Any news you want to share? Eight hours after landing, there's still no signs of first contact. The objects measure at least 1,500 feet tall. Mama, what's going to happen? I don't know. More objects like this have landed around the world. Dr. Banks, I'm Colonel G.T. Weber. You are on the top of everyone's list when it comes to translations. I have something I need you to translate for me. Is that... Not everyone is able to process experiences like this. When's the last time you did something stressful? Does it now count? We need answers as soon as possible. What do they want? Where are they from? I go back in. Well, I guess I don't need to tell you you're putting yourself at risk. Now that's a proper introduction. I need everybody working on this. I feel like everything that happens comes down to the two of us. I know what it is. What does it say? Offer weapon. I don't need an interpreter to know what this means. We don't know if they understand the difference between a weapon and a tool. China just threatened to destroy their shell. Whatever they do, France and Korea will follow. We could be facing global war. We need to talk to the other sites and work together for once. We have 15 hours before this all goes to hell. Are you dreaming in their language? I know why they're here. What the hell is she doing? You trust me. Rival Nowy Początek. Zapamiętajcie ten tytuł. Walczy w tym roku na festiwalu w Wenecji o główną nagrodę. Jego reżyserem jest Denis Villeneuve, twórca Sicario i Pogorzeliska. Reżysera zabrakło na Lido, ale to z prostego powodu. Kręci właśnie drugą część łowcy androidów. Pojawiły się za to jego gwiazdy Amy Adams i Jeremy Renner. Nowy Początek to ekranizacja głośnego opowiadania Teda Chianga, laureata prestiżowych literackich nagród Hugo oraz Nebula. Po serii lądowań obcych na Ziemi, wojsko werbuje ekspertkę lingwistyki, której zadaniem jest odkrycie nastawienia przybyszów z kosmosu. This is the rare uh, sci-fi film, which is about so many things and, um, and it's such a great story. I just wanted to know, Amy, you decided right away to do it. It was a very quick decision. Uh, initially, it was based on the script, which was really beautiful and really compelling. Um, I read through it and then got to the end and had to read it immediately again and, and, and was so surprised. And, it, and to be so surprised and moved by a script was a real joy. And then... Upon meeting Denis, I really had the feeling that I was in the presence of someone who was really special and had something very unique to say. Um, he always wanted to keep in mind, even through all of the sci-fi element of the film, that this was a woman's story, and that was such a beautiful thing to hear from such a, such a sort of powerful, artistic man. After reading the script, it was one of the best things I've uh, read in a very long time. It was a beautiful, beautiful emotional story, which I didn't expect out of a sort of sci-fi thriller, if you will. Amy being already attached and knowing Denis um, and almost working with him prior on, on Prisoners, um, I mean, it's really, really, there's so many reasons to say yes and um, very little to, reasons to say no. So, um, I mean, heck. Why not, right? You know, I think that the the emotional core that Denis kept throughout this film really grounded it, so I never felt that I was doing something that felt science fiction. Um, they're definitely, you know, you're dealing with the challenges of, of working and building a relationship with something you cannot see. Uh, you know, so we were acting very often to just kind of like a light, a screen, a board. Um, but again, Denis, who can't can't be here, was so great at telling us every beat and everything we were seeing, sharing artwork with us, and, and really almost creating for us the personality that each of them had and letting us build a relationship with this light screen, I guess, and these shadow, 
these shadow puppets, where I went on this emotional journey with this mother. And I'm a mother myself, so that completely warmed and moved me. And um, then, then when the film started going in more of a, of a science fiction kind of thing, it, it just um, connecting with um, the humanity. I mean, connecting with the humanity and Louise, the humanity.